telephone engineers who drive around the countryside planting telegraph poles with a machine that takes care of all that back-breaking spade work. The mechanical pole erection unit, to give it the official GPO title, is one of a hundred that spins into operation with push-button ease. They measure a day's work in the number of poles that can be winched into position. Nine is the maximum load, and this advance hammers home the claim that our telephone service is really dialing progress. There's a sort of penknife principle about the way the whole borer slides into position with inch-perfect control. Then the earth really starts to spin when the corkscrew bites deep down at a rate that even the best shovel expert couldn't match. It's quicker, no doubt about it, but the 7,000 pound price tag brings it down to earth. Multiply that by a hundred. Operate one lever, and no sooner does the drill slot back into place than the pole is ready for planting. It's that simple that only four weeks is needed to train a two-man crew, and it won't be long before these inventions are in regular service. There's a radio detecting device to make sure the pole doesn't touch hidden cables. If you think about it, it's like an artificial tree planting operation with even a hydraulic tamper filling in for all that old-fashioned sweat and strain. Even in an age of early bird and satellite communications, our post office boffins have still got to come down to ground level to keep working on go-ahead lines. Yet line